I celebrate Black History Month to recognize the achievements of those of African descent and to never forget the struggles and sacrifices of those that fought for our freedom and equal opportunities that allow me to live the way I live today, that allow me to be an engineer. I celebrate uh, for myself and especially for my son. And I also celebrate because Black history has such an importance, but it's often overlooked. I come from a really big family. I have eight brothers and sisters. My mom is from Nebraska and my father is from Nigeria. And we are really close with each other. And they have really inspired me to keep doing what I'm doing, be a better mother, be a better community member. And I hope that I inspire them that way as well. Black history is everyone's history, it's our history. And I think it's important to know where we've come to understand where we're going. Growing up in high school, I mainly learned of slavery, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and a handful of other influential uh, civil rights leaders. But I really did not learn black history. My mom didn't learn black history. My grandma definitely did not learn black history. And so Black History Month is an opportunity and has always been an opportunity to kind of close that gap and learn about black history. Well, at first, I think it's important to encourage children to embrace their curiosity, to allow them to be creative, to allow them to be an individual. I think it's also important to introduce them uh, to STEM concepts from pre-K through fifth grade. And I think that it's gonna take engineering firms to encourage their employees to volunteer and to help teachers out. Secondly, it's important to get high schoolers introduced to engineering. I think it's important to show them the careers that are in engineering. I know that Black & Veatch has a program called Black & Veatch Explorers Post that introduces students ages 14 through 19 to engineering concepts, to engineering fields. I think it's also important to support those minority programs within the university. I know that I was a part of one of those programs and I honestly, I don't think that I would have been an engineer without it. I felt like when I started university, I realized that there was a dramatic gap between me and my peers and they helped to bridge that gap. And to also have a diverse interviewing panel because people unintentionally tend to hire people that look like them, that they can relate to them. In order for uh, a company to have a diverse workforce or diverse engineers, there, there has to be a cultural shift. And Black & Veatch does a great job with this, with the Aspire program, and it's allowing people to reshape the way they think, to say that, hey, it's okay if someone looks different than me, if someone thinks differently from me, if someone comes from a different background, and I think that that is honestly the first stepping stone. And then I think it's really, really important to have employee resource groups to support those minorities. I know that I'm very, very, very appreciative of the Ebony um, ERG. I would say that being involved with that group has dramatically changed my professional career and my confidence within my career. And it's also helped me feel like I, I have a say and how things go. My name is Keisha Akamwadu and I am an engineering manager at Black & Beach.